hundreds of students in San Diego are reported to the police by their schools every year. This disproportionately affects students of color and those with special needs, propelling some of the most vulnerable children into the criminal system, the criminal justice system, before they even graduate high school. Mary Plummer, an editor with iNews Source, is joining us now with more on this. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. So explain, why are schools in San Diego reporting students to police? Well, we talked with several school districts in San Diego County, and they told us that they contact police for education code violations. So these can include things like assault with a deadly weapon, possession of dangerous objects, uh, drug and alcohol issues, for example. So not necessarily uh, your typical everyday school problems. These can sometimes be things that are uh, higher level issues. So what, what type of students here are we talking about? Who are, who are most often reported then to law enforcement? Unfortunately, as you mentioned, uh, this is not applying to everyone equally. According to federal data uh, across the country, students with disabilities and black children have disproportionately been impacted by policing in schools. Uh, we saw similar trends here locally when we looked at the data. Uh, take San Diego Unified, for example, that school district, of course, is the largest in San Diego County. About a thousand students were reported to police uh, back in the 2017-20 2018 school year. That's the most recent data available. Uh, about 300 of those students were students with disabilities who were reported to police. About 100 of them uh, were elementary school students. So it's not just middle and high school. This is also impacting uh, younger kids. Yeah, a lot of people that were watching and, and hearing you there might be surprised by the, the number of students with disabilities that uh, were reported to police. Really jumps out. So, so how is this impacting those families? For our story, uh, our reporter Jennifer Bowman profiled a student with autism who was handcuffed uh, after allegedly threatening to attack his middle school. Uh, police took him to a mental health facility and he spent three days there. We spoke with his mother, uh, Serena Zavala. She told us that this incident has made him very fearful of law enforcement and she really wishes that the school would have handled it differently. Uh, here's a clip from that interview and our, our conversation with her. People that have special needs kids, they go through a lot and they, you know, really have to fight a lot to get services and the different things like that. Um, and the kids work really hard to, you know, fit in. Um, and so having police called out for those types of individuals and the parents, they're already struggling, they're already tired. Boy, a lot for those parents and those students to deal with there. So uh, schools are obviously aware of this. They're aware of the numbers, but are they, are they making any changes that you guys are aware of? You know, it's interesting. Uh, San Diego Unified has resisted calls to eliminate or defund its school police. They have their own school policing system. But in November, its school board did unanimously approve a working group to propose reforms. That includes things like additional training on when to call the police. Uh, the school district's police department is also starting a youth advisory committee to work with students who have had negative interactions with law enforcement. So thankfully, we are seeing some steps in a different direction. We will see if those steps will be helping out. We know you guys will stay on top of it. Mary Plummer, always appreciate your time. Thank you. Have a good morning.